previously on Mighty Car Mods. I think it'll smash the Moto Compo. It definitely personally. will not smash the Moto um, Compo. Not even once, not so even a little bit. We'll, we'll do, do you want so to slow. Like, go do be that soon? Embarrassingly slow. Dude, it's going to be fast. Man, you know first, it's going to be fast. The first this is, Martin, this is 50cc versus 50cc. This is the battle of the JDM fruit scooters. The second that they let us into the go-kart track, which is the ultimate Moto Compo and 50cc fruit boot Then I will smoke you. Yeah, you're going to get so bad. <laughs> In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, it's a JDM mini bike challenge. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. Last time you saw us, we were putting this thing together that arrived in two pallets from the land of the rising sun. That's right, we bought this for $900 from Japan, which is actually a bargain for what you get, and it's particularly a bargain because Moto Compos, uh, potentially because of a video that we made about them a little while ago, uh, are now fetching prices of up to $5,000. Another interesting fact about Moto Compos is they're heaps faster than these things. Yeah, see, I think that's actually a whole load of bull crap because these are so both 50cc uh, bikes. This one here is two stroke, this is four stroke. I got way more tire here, I've got newer technology. Way more weight. And it's basically, it's, just, it's a more comfortable bike, it's a safer bike. It's fast. Uh, my speedo goes Oversized. up to 60 and I've got, a, I've got a light that comes on. Have you Mine, got a speed warning I've light, I've got a Martin? speedo and I've got an oil warning light because if I run out of oil, then my Moto Compo stops. And what does your speedo go my up to? My speedo goes up to 50, although I've never actually seen it that high before, but today is going to be the day. Well, there you go, mine goes to 60. So we are over here at the uh, Ludnam go-kart track. They're also opening a proper racetrack over here, which is so pretty good. exciting. So you can bring your car down here but today we're going to be doing a battle to see what is the ultimate uh, mini JDM bike and by the ultimate I mean out of the two that we have here today. Does that fit in the boot of your car? No, oh, no. Okay. But what? Well, this fits in the boot of a car so it automatically wins because yeah. you can take it anywhere. Is it a race to see how fast it goes in the boot or is it a race to see how fast we get around a racetrack? Straight out the boot of my car and straight out of the 1980s is this mad safety yellow Honda Moto Compo. With its folding seat, handlebars, foot pegs and small dimensions, the Moto Compo was originally marketed as a trunk bike and you could buy it as an optional extra with the Honda City hatchback. It's got an air-cooled two-stroke engine and is single speed with an automatic clutch, so it's more scooter than motorbike but still manages to look super tough and not at all fruit bootery. Weighing only 45 kilograms, it definitely has the weight advantage and it punches out 2.5 horsepower at 5,000 RPM. Battling the Moto Compo today is the rugged looking Honda Zuma that was first introduced in Japan in the early 2000s. The bike features a 50cc liquid cooled four stroke engine, punching out a massive 4.9 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. And this scooter was the first to have a tiny radiator attached to the side of the engine, with a fan to run air through it. With fat wheels and a low center of gravity, these bikes are regularly used as the base for faster bikes with engine swaps and crazy modifications because parts are so readily available. But today, I'll be using it to completely chop Marty's Moto Compo. I have a two-stroke 50cc Moto Compo. Now, why is two-stroke good? Two-stroke has a sick power band. Once it revs out, I think I'm gonna have him. Um, he might have some low down torque. Um, I don't know why, but maybe he does. Uh, and to be honest, we have no idea, but I have a feeling from being on this before, once you get up it and once you got on full lock on the throttle, it just goes. And most importantly, can he put his motorbike on a table? No, he can't, but I can, and I'm gonna win. And it's gonna be sick. The Moto Compo will defeat all Hondas. Let's go with that. I've got four stroke, he's only got two, so I've got double the strokes. Um, my bike's also about 20 years newer. It's got way more rubber on it than his does, which means I'm really gonna be able to lean it over, really scraping the pegs. I also have the new chopped toe strap available from the Mighty Car Mods website right now. He doesn't have that. Anyone who owns one of them is just a winner straight up. Available in red and black. Um, and basically this car has a, it's not even a car, it's a motorbike. Show you where my head's at. This bike has racing heritage. Um, so much heritage, I can't even get the key in there. It has racing heritage. These are all over Japan. They're modified with all sorts of crazy mods. People put a lot of power in them. Uh, they put 150cc engines in there. The chassis takes it, the tires take it. So there's no doubt at all in my mind that this is going to completely smoke the Moto Compo. Now I'm a big fan, obviously, of the Moto Compo. I own one as well. Um, I think it's a fantastic bike. 
but it just doesn't have what it takes to defeat the Zuma. They are, they're both JDM, they're both, uh, they're both commonly seen uh, in uh, Japan, but today it's time to reveal the ultimate JDM mini bike, and it is the Zuma. Okay, man, you ready for this? I'm ready, you ready? Are you doing a kickoff or do we just let the engine do its thing? I'm gonna have to kick it, I don't think it'll go otherwise. Really? Yeah. Okay, you ready? On the third honk, we're gone. <coughs> chop, chop, chop! But that's it, that's maximum speed. Oh, you can't lead it over as much as I can. I got no more. I got the acceleration, but I don't have any more. Whoa, shit. <laughs> On the outside. Oh, it's so wobbly. It's so wobbly. Oh, it's a tight corner. Tight corner. So slow. This is so sketchy. No, I'm going to get him down the straight. Just! <laughs> Come on, Zuma. Come on, Zuma. Down the straight. You're scraping peg. I think I got it, people. I think I've actually got it. I think he's going to get me. He's got way more corner speed than me for some reason, though. I don't quite have a racing line. Oh! Come on, Zuma, come on, Zuma, you got this. When he leans it in too low over the corner, he's actually scraping pegs. Uh, whereas I'm not because I don't have any. Even though earlier I'd said that I was scraping pegs. So sketchy. These tires are not made for this. I wonder if this is how people originally rode these. Oh, he's done a sneaky. He's done a sneaky and he's lost the camera, which I just ran over. A lot of smoke coming out of it. And we're moving on to our last lap. No! Come on, Zuma. That's it. We're gonna, we're gonna take it home. Let's get some racing lines going. I made a compa, you got this. You're doing 45 k's an hour. Whoop, over I go. I think we're home and hose, people. I think we're good. We're actually... Oh, oh, that's close. That's close. People, we are all good. Unless something really bad happens, the Zuma has got this in the bag. The Zuma for sure is going to be the winner of the JDM Mini Bike Challenge. Go, Mata Kapo! Go, Mata Kapo! Our GoPro is in multiple pieces down there. It's all over everybody. The Moto Combo has been well and truly thrashed. No Moto Combo, no! That is a chop, chop, chop for the Zuma! Woo! That's what our 20 years of newer technology does for you, everybody. Um, let's go and have a look down here oh dear this is um <sighs> seen better days i think everyone uh, it's even it is it is rolling still there we go that should be as good as new i reckon All good, everybody. All good. Zuma life, my friends. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ow! It's not that stable, is it? It's stable when it needs to be. There we go, mate. Good race. You got chopped so hard. That is that is a lot faster than I expected. It's Moto Combo good. did pretty well for what it is. I can fold it up and take it home. Yeah, so-so. I'll be back. You got something else, mate? I do. I got something for you, mate. 
This is a homebrew drift trike made out of leftover go-kart bits and a bicycle we found at the tip. It's got an eBay spec pit bike engine with a centrifugal clutch and four forward gears with a theoretical top speed of 80 kilometers an hour, which we're never gonna go anywhere near cause that's ridiculous. It was pieced together by our mate Miles and it's only thrown us off a handful of times. The go-kart real axle sports a set of tyres inflated inside some plastic tubing which means it slides with only the slightest bit of throttle. These things are seriously fun and seriously dangerous and today it's seriously going to smash that Honda. Sounds good. Not that reliable. Come on drift trike. No grip. I might as well go back and see how he's going. Go drift try, go. You got no grip, bro. Off you go. Nah, it's all over. It's all over, mate. Compete. Just can't compete with the Zuma. Zuma is the ultimate vehicle. Oh. oh, sorry, I was just uh, getting a little bit sleepy. Yes, sideways, no grip. Oh, I'm just uh, riding along one-handed on my little uh, Zuma here. Oh no! I dropped another GoPro! <laughs> oh, I'm going a good uh, a good 15 kilometers an hour at the moment. The adrenaline is uh, through the roof right now, everybody. Alright, let's see how he goes on his second lap. faster than the Honda Zuma, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the corner speed. Look at the lean. Look at the sheer mean Honda power. I'm just gonna make my way down to the finish line, everybody, because there's not a whole lot happening over here. Whoa! Except almost crashing. Now this thing I said earlier on, scraping the foot pegs, it doesn't have foot pegs. Oh, uh, there's another GoPro on the ground. Uh, but it, uh, did manage to scrape the foot tray. So there it is everybody, that's it. It's all over, it's all over. It's a done deal here. I put my bike up, lie on the ground, have a little nap. Oh, have a little nap until he gets here. Enjoying the... Uh, You're lucky it's a sunny day. You got chopped. You're lucky it's a sunny day, mate. Why? Because you'd need a sundial to check your lap times. You got chopped See? in style points, man. Nothing your Honda Zuma could do could ever compete with the style 
That is the drift trike. Do you know what got chopped? The Zuma. Nope. What? Your bank account. Why? Because there's another broken GoPro down there. Oh crap, really? So, uh, well done Martin, I think that's it. Can we agree that the Zuma is the ultimate mini JDM transport? No. We can agree with that, can't we? No, the ultimate mini JDM transport is a Mira or a Mini. It, that's got not enough wheels, it's two, two fewer wheels, man. Of this has one fewer wheels. Dude, I would legit chop your mirror around here and don't even get me started on that. You would not would. chop my mirror in that, not a chance. 100% I would. Not a chance. But I'm, I'm, let's not even Challenge accepted. No, no one needs to see that, man, but I would 100% chop you it. You wouldn't chop my mirror at all, man. I'd boost past you. See you, mate. Anyway, all right, um, going for a skid. There's, there's my GoPro down there. Uh, he got chopped so hard, he's not dealing with it. And now, um... You want style points? You want style points? You want style points, bro? Yeah. You ready for my wheelie? Yeah, well done. Go for it. This is how you style point, man. 